The right information, the right equipment can be the difference between life and death. People are making life and death decisions every day uh, based on the weather. Should I go or should I not go today? And, and once they're up in the air, how am I going to make a decision in the next five minutes that's going to keep myself, my passengers, or my aircraft uh, out of harm's way? On this day, flights from New York to... What happens next leads to one of the most horrific crashes in aviation history and spurs fundamental changes to the way weather forecasts are made. Brace for impact! High above Georgia, Southern Airways Flight 242 is falling from the sky. We lost both engines. This DC-9 is a glider, and it's falling at 56 feet per second. They're at 14,000 feet. They don't have a lot of time. I realized I was in an emergency situation, and I felt like I was going to die. But I decided I would do everything I could to try to help my chances. The plane emerges from the storm with two dead engines. Get those engines started. Billy, you have to find me a highway. Let's get the next clear open field. No, Bill. Lyman Keel is a young man who has just come back from the proving ground of Southeast Asia, where he was a naval aviator. He learned the niceties of landing on a rolling, pitching aircraft carrier in the South China Sea in the middle of the night. What he was confronted with right now was even a greater test, the greatest test he had ever confronted in his life as an airman. Flaps. They're down to 50. Unable to restart the engines, Lyman Keel prepares to land his aircraft on Georgia State Highway 92 without power. I'm gonna land right over that guy. There's a car ahead. I got it. I got it now. I got it. The aircraft touches down on the highway running through the town of New Hope, Georgia. Before the plane completely stopped moving, there was fire blowing through the cabin. The plane clips a utility pole. And slams into a gas station. 